Ahead of the start of the Badminton World Championships in Indonesia, Gillette World Sport gets underway in Denmark to find out what it takes to be king of the court. A lot of qualities are required to be a top badminton player. Endurance, speed, the mental awareness, the mental game in general, precision, technique. I think a lot of people are underestimating how many things you should be able to handle when you're on a badminton court. As badminton's reigning European champion, Jan Jorgensen knows what it takes to reach the pinnacle of his sport. The Dane is renowned for his desire and dedication. Qualities brought to the fore during his most intense training workout of the year, a dreaded multi-shot session where he has to cover all corners of the court and hit over 1,000 shuttlecocks in just 45 minutes. Today's training session was a very hard physical session, basically done so we can adapt to the very hard conditions when we play the biggest matches and when you're able to push yourself to the limit. So against the toughest opponent, it was a multi-shot session, which means the shot just keeps coming back and again and again. And we're trying to both uh, corroborate that with measuring the heart rate to see if he's at his uh, very best. The margins at the highest level are very thin and you need to be at your best every day in practice to kind of make them work your way so you're able to seek them when you really need them in the matches. An innovative component of the multi-shot test pioneered by his coach is a psychological element carried out between rounds to ensure Jorgensen's mental edge matches his physical prowess. The decision making in the breaks are very important. I think it's a new step. The players get different views of attacking shots from the top players in the world and has to choose uh, which direction they're gonna hit the shot. So while they're taking a break or just getting their breath, they have to make decisions at the same time. And that's kind of what we wanna simulate when they're playing matches. So when they wanna rally, they hear from the coaches so they can kind of adapt that strategy. So this is kind of keep the stress on the players throughout the full session. Jorgensen's smash is also relentlessly refined in training, and when executed perfectly, it's a key weapon amongst any badminton player's arsenal of attacking shots. When it comes to the smash, I think, uh, I think it's all about technique. Having a long arm, not particularly strong, but just a long arm is a really good thing. That's also like in golf, the long arms, you have more power. It's the same with badminton, so if you can hit it at a high position, then it will go more downwards, it will be, the angle will be better. That's why you see a lot of badminton players jump. That's to get these extra small percentage of angle. A lot of players who play in the spare time or having fun with it just tend to, to hit the shuttle like this. And there is absolutely no power doing this. You need to rotate your underarm. That will give you a lot of more power. Sometimes it's just aimed directly at the opponent. Full power just at the body. That's a really good thing. But, but that needs to be a, like a surprise. Mostly you go for the lines. But sometimes hitting it all out on the body is, really, is a really good weapon. After Jorgensen's exertions on the court, the focus is switched to improving his strength and conditioning in the gym. Badminton doesn't look like when you watch it if you haven't tried it. It doesn't really look that hard because they don't hit the balls as hard as they do in tennis. And it's not as long, and, but still you're moving so fast all the time. So it's like jumping and bouncing constantly. And that really kicks your, your heartbeat up. So in that way, it's a lot of aerobic stress. And if you do that for a long period of time, it's really a lot of anaerobic stress as well. So you really feel the acid, the lactic acid uh, burn you up when you, when you go hard. This blend of endurance and explosive strength has been a vital part of Jorgensen's success, which culminated in triumph at the European Championships in Kazan. With one title under his belt, his sights are now firmly set on world and Olympic glory. It's a big, big thing to be European champion. If you are the best men's single player from Denmark, you need to have the European Championship title. That's, uh, that's one of them you need to have. So I'm really happy to, uh, to have won it, and I hopefully I can, uh, I can take one more next year. I want to go all the way, and I want to do it, do it right now when I have the chance. And, uh, and I think you can see that on my game, that, uh, that it's really passionate, and, uh, and I want to do everything I can to win. And when I play, I play with all my heart.